Hey guys, welcome back to Marvel's Midnight Suns. I just finished recording the first part, and we're going to be continuing the game with the next mission, Sanctum Symbiotum. Let's get started. With everything going on right now, we simply cannot afford to lose contact with the Sanctum or Wanda. We'll try not to. Alright, here we go. Even given the fluctuations in the astral spectrum, I should be seeing something. Are you ready? The prophecy of the Midnight Sun does not linger, and neither should we. Lilith possesses the Dark Hold. If she forced her way into my Sanctum Sanctorum once, I suspect she can do it again. She probably you are a Sorcerer Supreme. Can you not predict her movements? Normally, yes. But since your mother breached the Sanctum, my sense of the future has grown voluminous in nature. Is that another language, or...? Ah, <sighs> fuzzy. My predictions are fuzzy. For the first time as Sorcerer Supreme, I cannot foresee how the future unfolds, and with my apprentice in danger, we cannot tarry. Your Sanctum will survive. We shall see to that. Indeed, the Sanctum Sanctorum has weathered its fair share of trouble over the years. Blaze storms, a few short-tempered celestials that issue with the zoning permission. <laughs> a few short-tempered celestials? If you guys don't know um, how powerful celestials are, they are very powerful, and um, they are some of the biggest beings in the whole Marvel need. Universe. Still if you can't tell, I love Marvel, into the and I'm a big fan of Marvel, and I know a lot about Marvel, so yeah. In any case, all will be revealed with time. I suggest we make use of it while it still functions. Alright, let's go. About time. Not just about time, Mr. Brooks. Time, space, reality, the building blocks of magic. All must be constant for my portals to work properly. Yet as we now know, that is no longer the case. We've heard. Several times. Otherwise, I would still be hunting dread maidens in my sleep. Indeed. And while I certainly appreciate the view of this vista, I fail to see how it will hasten our return to the Sanctum. Magic is the answer. No, as I've just stated, magic is the problem. Your magic is. Not ours. The ground you are standing on exists within two worlds. A mystical anchor point to Ileana's realm that allows her to... Well, I'll just let her show you. Here we go. You are standing in limbo. Nexus of all realities, both real or otherwise. A chaotic but secret realm beyond the influence of Lilith. Thus far. Are you certain of that? Because I am sensing all kinds of dark energy. That feeling you're being watched. General Hellho vibe? Yes. All these potentialities converging at once? A truly surprising feat, Miss Rasputin. For someone so young, of course. What? You Not think like this is crazy. Wait until you see Manhattan. Like another like warrior? Like hunters? Like friends? Old friends? From here, magic can open gateways to just about anywhere on our planet, and beyond. 
We don't want to risk punching through the wards protecting your sanctum, Doctor. So we've chosen a safe exit a few blocks over instead. Me. Officer dedicated, not your average height. That's. No I hate these guys. Through. I I hate all of them. Welcome to New York. All right, let's do this. I hesitate to call this good news, but I'm seeing minimal hydro resistance between you and the Sanctum. Looks can be deceiving, I'm afraid. There's no way these out so easily. Hero cards. Huh, I don't have much, so I probably should not. Oh, I can do it twice. Alright. That's not good. It's weirdos like these that give people like us a bad reputation. Here you go. By the way. Oh my god. My controller. I saw a move like that once, centuries ago. Should get the blood bumping. Let's see. Let's do this. Can I do this? Oh. And then I'll just throw this at that guy. They're mine. Bam! Alright. Hydra Immortalis! Reinforcements. They bolstered their forces. That gamma spike we detected in your area seems to be growing. Let's assume that's not a good thing. Gamma or not, I feel the hand of my mother at work here. Damn, alright. It's remarkable how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. Um, I'm just gonna do this twice. <laughs> No one really needs to heal. I'll put this to Alright. This is gonna be overpowered. Oh no! I'm so scared. Oh no! Oh no! Wanda is calling out to me. Where's the most feel a struggle. Need to concentrate and... Ah! and uh... There we go. It's a he is all. gone. Ooh, a level, level up. I almost said an evil level. Knockback. 
Bam. You were too weak for this fight. That was pretty easy. Intentions. Powerful enemies like Fallen Venom do not forecast which hero they intend to attack, and may attack multiple times on their turn. Watch well, out. Certainly escalated quickly. Do I even want to know? A hundred. It calls itself Venom. Okay, where I'm at in the game, not here. That's not a lot. But where we're, we're at in the game right now, that's actually crazy. How much health? 60, 60, oh wait, 56, 54, yeah. Um, hmm. If I move, I can do that. What if I can... Not throw him into... Can I throw him into an explosive? I electrocute him, it's 84, but I can get Tim. I can get him down to 84 and still kick out one. It's probably better. If I could, I would throw him into like the, the bombs. <laughs> we will heal faster than you. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Alright, level up. Um... What if I move... Right there? <laughs> And then 
I can in the search for oh, wealth momentum. and power. Once hero uses move, they can continue to reuse I move will never change to reposition themselves until any hero using ability. Seriously? Oh I did not know that actually I'm not kidding, I never knew that. That's helpful. Oh, I can just do that and blow them up. Why can't I do that? Okay, that's strange. Um, how much damage would I do? Only ten. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll just end the turn. You are within our reach. Squirming only brings us. Oh God. That's not good at all. This house belongs to love, as you belong to us. All right. Your delicious brains. Are the rest of your mother's children so chatty? Pain only makes us hungrier. Um, I'm gonna do this to free blade. All right. It's all coming back to me. And then we'll just, uh, you know, do that. Pain is oh, no. And then we'll just, uh, Watch you know, shoot him. Perfectly normal. I can't throw that. Okay. Do that. Bam! I wonder. Oh, I can. Okay. And then I just. Yep. Alright. <laughs> oh, but Blade. Blade's gonna get it. Wait, can I? No! Why can't I do it? Wait. What if I do it? No, okay, I just can't do it. Great. Alright, let's end the turn. That was a really good turn. That's gonna hurt. It won't kill him. Okay. Down after this. Oh, pleasant. Just one damage. Wasn't bad. Four. Getting hit with four damage. We may not be ready for this thing really yet. Might be smarter to pull back until we know what we're up against here. Oh no. No mercy for the serpent. It's fine. Yeah, I'll just you know blow him up. It would seem Lilith chose poorly. Pretty normal. Just blow him up. No escape from me, demon. Hold up. We don't know what we're dealing with yet. <laughs> oh, 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 no. The man, the myth, the legend, Spider-Man. Friendly neighbor or the spider. I don't know. I was in the neighborhood. You know, being friendly. Seemed like you folks could use a hand, Doc. <laughs> Spider-Man! Jeez, Eddie, what happened to you? 
That's part of a horrifyingly terrible new look. The tongue was gross enough, but whoa! Someone is extra touchy today. We will rip your face off and suck the marrow from your bones! Always nice to see you too, buddy. So, I'm thinking your friends here could use a little break. How about I take Eddie here for his afternoon walk? <laughs> Don't worry, Doc. That's just his way of saying he cares! Ooh, three stars. That's pretty good. Thankfully, Spider-Man came to the rescue. He is the best superhero. You can fight me about that. I don't care what you say, he's the best. Congratulations. New world or not, some things remain unchanged. The look. What look? Boldly charging headfirst into the jaws of your enemy. Courageously risking the lives of yourself and your teammates. Just to play the hero. This is the Fire Dragon all over again. Fire Dragoon. My memories may be fragmented, but as I recall, I killed the bastard. And all it cost no. was a village. Ah, of course. I see it now. The look. Cut him some slack. It wasn't that simple. It never is. Which is why I sent you to help. If Spider-Man hadn't come along today, we could have lost far more than... Than the Sanctum? Or Wanda. She means I could have died. Again, putting an end to her eternal crusade against my mother. You've been through a lot. For now, it's enough that you all made it back in one piece. More or less. We'll talk more later. Get some rest. All right, we gotta talk to Tony. Uh, where is Tony exactly? Where is he? Oh. All right. Oh, he's right over there. When he did. Oh, there he is. Caretaker would have been. Hey, for what it's worth, I think you did okay out there. You got some decent hang time, even uh, given you were wearing what 70, 80 pounds of chainmail. On the stark scale of reckless yet daring heroics, I give it a solid six out of ten. Don't worry, you'll get there. With a little help. And where exactly am I going? Oh, that's the real question, isn't it? Sky's the limit for you, my friend. <laughs> Unless you'd be up for wearing a space helmet. You do breathe air, don't you? You know what? It doesn't matter. I, I couldn't help but overhear Auntie Caretaker over there telling you to get some rest. That uh, sounds like a good idea to me. I suppose I could keep you company on the way, seeing as our rooms are in the same direction and all. Besides, no one should be forced to walk the hallways around here alone. So, here we are. The old room, huh? It's, uh, it's not bad. Functional. Solid construction. Almost cozy. Love the antique furnishings from the early Mephisto collection. Full transparency, Hunter. There's another reason I asked to join you here other than my abject terror of this entire facility. Stopped here before, while you were out. Wanted to surprise you with a nice little housewarming present. Was all set to write you a lovely welcome note, but I'm fairly certain that wasn't red ink in your quill. I assure you, there is nothing to fear here. Well, it's easy to say not to be scared of things that go bump in the night when you are a thing that goes bump in the night. I don't even watch horror movies, and now I'm living in one. Horror movies? Oh, you'll love them. Imagine a painting come to life. Moving, talking, telling a story, one that just happens to be pulled from your very worst nightmare. Or just stop by my room. Fairly certain there's one hanging there already. 
Well, I suppose I should leave before whatever monstrosity that is most definitely hiding under your bed jumps out, rips my face off, and then proceeds to feast on my soul. I'll leave you to it. May your sleep be filled with pleasant dreams, Tony. Right back at you. Oh, and if you hear the shrieking of a grown man, please ignore it. It's just me, walking to my room. Um, alright, let's open Tony's present. Hi, I'm Tony Stark. But if you're hearing this message, you already know that. When I'm not saving the world, I solve the world's problems with technological means, like the one you're holding. I call it the Spark, a secure information and communication device built only for superheroes. It does all the usual, private messages, pictures, and calls for some reason. But it also comes with access to Superlink, a private social network exclusively for your cape-wearing, world-saving compatriots. You might ask, Tony, aren't you just repurposing a failed product from your communications division? If you do, I'll revoke access and let everyone else know you're a jerk. I call it the Wonder Man rule. Oof. Um, okay. Uh, first post. What do you mean? We've had Superlink for months now. We use it every day. I mean, first post that the hunter sees. Robbie, you can't keep doing this when someone new joins Superlink. Yes, I can. He means he will throw you your. He means he will throw your spark in the lagoon. He wouldn't do that, right, Blade? Right, Blade? Fine. Last time. First we make Wanda leave, and now we leave her to die. Some heroes. I assure you that is not the case. She was sent to you for protection. I see how that worked, Supreme Sorcerer. We both know it is more complicated than that, Miss Rasputin. I think. I, I don't know. Rasputin? I don't, I don't know. I took Wanda as my apprentice for a reason. Have faith that she can handle herself. Strange did everything he could to get to Wanda. So did I, and the hunter. Take a breath, Liliana. We'll get, we'll get her back soon enough. Wanda should be here with us. Of that, I'm in agreement. All right, well, that is uh, Superlink. There's never enough room for my armor in this thing. Okay, so I can... I have enough to buy... I'll probably just buy this. Yeah. Um... Room upgrades. Let's see here. Oh. I need more, but... You know. It's still pretty cool. I can get a bookshelf. All this stuff. All right. That's... That's a lot of stuff. So that's my room. Oh. Faded journal page. My letters, so here I am, but every time I dip this pen and ink, I just want more and more to go out beyond the yard into my secret spots. I left my dolls scattered about before the storm, and I'm afraid they're hurt. Do dolls hold grudges? Agatha, Agatha says they don't, but I still feel sad for them. My old journal. Maybe it is time I start writing in it again. Um, what else did you... Oh, painting, painting. You were all so hmm. happy then. Okay, go to sleep. Three hundred years. Oh, it must have been so hard on her. Not just her. I 
suppose that's why I might have been a little curt before. A little? You already made the ultimate sacrifice once. Maybe I'm in no rush to see you do it again. We do not choose our destiny. But we can choose to duck. <laughs> First lesson you ever taught me. And still the most important. Especially now that you have all these eyes on you. I have noticed. To these people, you are a being of myth and legend. A grand hero of old. And they're right. You are a hero. But I also know the battle that rages within your soul. It's not enough that you are a hero. You need to decide what type of hero you will be. I'm sure there will be plenty of opportunity for that in the days to come. For now, I would head to the forge. Our new guests are eager to show you something. This was a lot easier when it was just you and I beheading the Dark Legion as we traipsed through the woods. Don't forget about Agatha. I never could. All right, let's go to the forge. Charlie was restless all night. I should have known something was wrong. Wait, what you knew I was up? Next thing I know, oh. is that this airborne and covered it. Now? Think you can tell your friend inside there to turn it up a few hundred Kelvin? I could. However, it might shatter the containment spell, preventing him from incinerating this facility. I think we're good. And just in time. The Forge has certainly changed. Right. Caretaker said this all happened after your siesta. What spooky castle would be complete without its own Babylonian demon-powered furnace? Sumerian fire demon. His name is Babs. Oh, now it all makes sense. Well, once you get past the esoteric terror of the situation, I've found this thing actually has some uses. Molecular bonding, breaking down evil gamma serums, fashion accessorizing. Mm, yes, speaking of... Oh, right. It's ready. Your armor seemed to offer minimal protection against the Venom creature. I noticed. Yeah, I thought you could use an upgrade. Well hammered, well fired. Caretaker did not mention that you two were such skilled smithies. Yep, I am Iron Smithy. Perhaps you should just try it on. I love that you arm. It looks so good. Still think I could have used a cloak. Stylish, damn near indestructible, and we even got the size right. Not bad for our first collaboration. Why I can't I talk? Oh, no, I can't. I hate to admit it, but somehow this ancient forge puts any arc reactor I've got to shame. Who would have thought mystically bound demon power would be so damn energy efficient? Or carbon neutral? Certainly got that new suit of yours done a lot faster than I expected. Speaking of, what's the verdict, boss? It is nice having an armorer on demand. Anytime. I tried to make this version a little less palatable to that symbiote thing. I was this close to making it menthol flavored. But tools are just one part of the equation. You gotta know how to use them too. You were out, what, 300 years before we woke you from your eternal rest? I'm betting you have questions, so ask away, Hunter. Um. You must have an interesting origin story of your own. Well, just your typical American boy. Pops was a founding member of the military industrial complex. Mom, a famous socialite. Tragedy struck when I lost them both in a car crash, which turned out to be a hit from a rival corporation. I spent my early teens at MIT, trying to clear my head. I was all set to follow in Dad's footsteps as a war profiteer. Then one day, fortune shined on me, in the form of some errant shrapnel that lodged itself just above my heart. So I did what anybody in that situation would do. I built a super suit and started fighting crime. 
guess we have all had difficult childhoods here. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. I can't tell you how hard it was to memorize all that at Skrull Sleeper Camp. Just kidding. Or am I? Yeah, to be honest, that's all the questions I have for now. Thanks for catching me up on things. Anytime. Oh, and speaking of things, remember that uh, creepy gamma goop you found from that hopped up Hydra soldier? Well, I gave it a peek and it explains a lot. If you have a minute, meet me at the anvil over there and I'll walk you through it. I promise it'll be worth your time. Uh, sure. Talk to Strange. Hunter, your new attire suits you quite well. But how are you holding up on the inside? I know it's easy to look upon me and simply see the universe's utmost authority on all things mystical and macabre, Hunter. However, in addition to being Earth's Sorcerer Supreme, I am also your doctor. You mean a physician of the medical arts? You jest. I assure you, Hunter, I do not jest. They don't call me Mr. Strange, now do they? Except for Tony. Your awakening ritual was admittedly a touch more chaotic than I had originally intended, and, well, after your violent encounter with Venom, my oath to Hippocrates compels me to check in with you. Simply put, how do you feel? You lost much yesterday, Doctor. I am the one who should be asking you how you are feeling. I appreciate that, Hunter. I admit I did not expect the child of Lilith to have the capacity for such empathy. And you're right, of course. I, for one, do not know if I will ever feel 100% again after the events of yesterday. I still can't believe what transpired. The sanctum, all that knowledge, Wanda, lost. Swallowed whole by the black mouth of that foul venom creature. With all my resources, all my gifts, I should have seen this outcome spelled out in the sacred geometry of this universe years ago. But I miscalculated. Um... That Lilith's power has placed a dark shroud over us all, Doctor. You are not alone in this. Your words are appreciated. Still, I must not allow the underlying truth of the situation to become shrouded as well. It's not just the Sanctum Sanctorum that was lost yesterday. It was my protege, Wanda. She was, is, my charge, my responsibility, and I failed her. But I am. Determined not to let that happen with you, Hunter, which is why I am here to answer any questions you may have. Perhaps my wisdom may benefit you more than it has me thus far. Um. Hmm. The creature on the roof. You have run into it before. Unfortunately, yes. In the simplest of terms, Venom is an alien species living in symbiosis with a human known as Eddie Brock. He's something of a fixture in New York these days, but typically his hijinks are confined to harassing Spider-Man. This one... It sounds like Spider-Man is Venom's nemesis. Maybe he has some insight. Of course. I have no doubt Spider-Man will prove to be an invaluable asset in the ongoing fight against both Venom and Lilith. Uh, that's really all the questions I have. Let us talk later. Visit whenever you like. It's not often I get to converse with a true legend. Alright. Uh, Gamma... Now, I doubt advanced gamma thermodynamics was a hot topic at ye old demon hunting school, so I'm just gonna give you the condensed version. I appreciate that. Closest I've ever seen to this substance is pumping through Bruce's veins. Part gamma accelerant, part unknown element. Calling it COIL for now, given its unique atomic structure. Man, I love acronyms. 
this stuff is more volatile than Nick Fury on a Monday morning. But Hydra doesn't seem to mind. <laughs> They're using it to get stronger. Exactly. A few drops would make your average salamander look like Fin Fang Foo. That's not good. Thankfully, with a little help from Dr. Spooky and our haunted oven over here, I think two can play at this game. You are not suggesting we start injecting ourselves with it. No, 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 nothing like that. Though I can see some future applications for my energy drink line, I was thinking we apply this stuff towards upgrading our equipment. I like where this is going. Just give me a little time here and I can whip up some pretty fun toys. How about we give Hydra a taste of their own gamma-powered medicine for a change? So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? All right. So, what's an owl? Analog. You're welcome, Hunter. New abilities. Ooh, okay. All right. Um. It's between. Hunter stuff. I like the knockback and how it's six damage, but I think I'm gonna go with the heal since it's like a 36 health back. Hunter, when you have a minute, come meet me in the yard. Um, yeah, let's let's see here. What? Okay, so you can pause the video if you want to read this, but this is actually pretty funny. Alright, so, we will talk to Blade in the yard in the next part, um, I just want to see, oh wow, uh, heroes, what's, what's, oh yeah, oh, great, maximum two of same ability allowed, so can I just like, replace it, wait, what? Okay, uh, that was really weird. Um, yeah, let's see. That's it? Okay. We will be continuing the game next part. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.